Here is Concanyon Vineyards 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon out of Hessel Robles and California. Many of you all know um, Paso Robles, uh, Paso Roble, however you want to pronounce it, is one of my favorite regions in California when it comes to Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, it's coming in at 13.5% alcohol. Um, 20 bucks, I think this one was, um, although got it on sale um, for 50 maybe 16 bucks so you know it's kind of your average 15 20 dollar wine depending on where you live um it says on the uh, front and the back wisdom without compromise um i guess that's something we'll just have to look into um see what that means not really sure not familiar with this um winery um, unconventional wisdom since 1883. Since 1883, Concanyon Vineyard has been a trailblazer in California wine. We celebrate over 130 years of Cabernet Sauvignon, a legacy started by my great grandfather James, who imported extraordinary wines, extraordinary vines, directly re renowned vineyards in Bordeaux. Today, our acclaimed Concanyon Cabernet Sauvignon clones are the most predominantly planted in California in its premium wine growing regions. The warm daytime temperature and cool evening of Paso Robles translate to outstanding tannin structure and complexity in this full bodied wine. Enjoy rich aromas and luscious flavors of. Red cherry and ripe plum highlighted with hints of cocoa and vanilla. Enjoy. This is Con Canyon Vineyards. So uh, looking at it from the glass standpoint, I can see through it so I can see my hands just barely though. It is a nice um, ruby red color um, becoming really dark um, in the middle. But as I said, you can still see through it. So it is on a little bit on the lighter side as far as cab goes, but it definitely is getting a little dark. On the nose perspective, definitely does have a Bordeaux like style, little hints of earth. But a really big, like, juicy. Um, red cherry in there, some nice plums, maybe even a little bit of raspberry, light hints of uh, blackberry, getting a cassis. Definitely getting an, an oak characteristic, so you got that vanilla, maybe even a sort of cigar box uh, tobacco uh, nose going on there. Mm. Mm. A little bit of like smokiness, maybe like leather. Maybe a little hint of black licorice. All right, so it's doing on the uh, palette. Wow. Oh. This one's a beauty. Really nice structure to it. 
It is um, a little mild, but you do sort of get just a nice little bit of maybe like jammy grip in there. Nothing over the top. Tannin is very well, well structured, like I said. I mean, just a little tad bit um, bite to them. But overall, nice, uh, nice plum, red cherry, as I mentioned. Get a nice vanilla characteristic, a nice little um, cocoa um, flavor in there as well. In the back, kind of like cocoa powder. Um, a little bit of cassis, kind of, kind of get these like little, little bits of like a little um, sharpness, as I said, maybe like a. Uh, Got that sort of tobacco taste uh, going on. Um, very mild, mild, maybe like bacon spice going on. Maybe just a tad bit, tad bit of like uh, a black licorice going on, but not much as like a little bit of hint in the back. Um, you know, maybe, maybe it's, uh, maybe the spice I'm getting is maybe like a little bit of clove. I have no idea what that is. A little bit of clove or mint. Um, very nice wine. Now, as I mentioned, it's between 15 and 20 bucks. Um, not all places carry it. Um, I actually got this somewhere, somewhere else. Um, somewhere else. I don't know where I got it from. I got. Somewhere where I was out, and I saw a liquor store, and I was like, well, I'm not near mine, so I'll stop and fill up, and um, uh, this one drew my eye, because I recognized this um, this brand, um, so I figured I'd give them a try, because I don't know much about them, but um, it's a good one, it's a good one. Um, there is a nice finish. Um, However, by this time it is all gone, so um, it, it definitely is is a medium plus finish. It's not 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 like a, you drink and it goes away as soon as you drink it, but it's not one that really lingers on for too much. So you definitely do want to take into aspect that it is a wine. Excuse me, it is a wine that you will continue. Um, sipping relatively um, quickly, um, but definitely um, is a wine that is good to do that if you just are excited about the flavor that you'll get with this, which I think you will be. Could also be a nice, nice, definitely food wine, nice burgers, um, some nice. Uh, some, some nice um, spiced up chicken, um, steak, but probably not so much with steak, I would say. I mean, unless you're just having like a regular, regular red steak, you're not like sort of spicing it up. Um, but, you know, de definitely burger night all the way here for this one. Maybe some um, sausages, uh, some Italian sausage. Spicy Italian sausage. So, I mean, that definitely pairs well with a lot of big things, but also pairs well also by itself. Um, I am going to deduct, I mean, it's a 2014, so still, still give it some time to possibly age, so I take away half a point. For for that being that I believe that it could have a little bit more potential in it, and I give another maybe half a star because uh, while it does have a decent finish, uh, I feel like there could be a little bit more finish to it, um, at least of something lingering around, like whether it's vanilla or tobacco. I know that's not an earthquake. That's me shaking the table. So whether it's a little bit of something or another. Um, but by this point, I have to have another sip to really even get anything. So, decent finish, but I would still like there to be something 
lingering around a little bit longer um, before I would start the whole process over again. So four to five, not bad, not bad by all means. Four to five, you know, I like to try to go for those wines. I like to try to give wines four to five or more. Sometimes I get three and a half, and every so often, unfortunately, I'll get three. But you all know how I do my ratings. See you next time. Ryan Wine Guy, cheers.